Welcome to this video tutorial where we'll be going through setting up and implementing the Facebook SDK for React Native. We'll be focusing especially on setting up the native SDK for Android in Android Studio and linking it together with React Native. If you'd like to see the implementation done in iOS, you can check out my other video and the link for that will be in the description. All the websites I use in this tutorial will be linked in the description as well, so they're easy for you guys to access. We'll also start by setting up the React Native project and we'll set up a Facebook application that we can link to the React Native application. At the time of this tutorial, the newest stable version of React Native is 0.42 and that's the one I'll be using. You can check out the um, React Native Facebook SDK at their GitHub page as this is where you'll see the step for setting up the native SDK. As I said above, our version of React Native is 0.42, which is obviously above 0.29, and thereby we will be using these setup instructions. Go ahead and navigate to the folder where you want to store your React Native project. I keep all of my development projects in a folder depending on what platform I develop for. I'm using the React Native command line interface to initiate a new project by typing react-native in it and then the name of the project. All the dependencies we need will now be installed and in the meantime we can get on with setting up the Facebook application to link to our project. You want to type the name of your application, choose a category that best describes what your application is about and set a contact email in case Facebook needs to get in contact with you. You then obviously want to pass a security check. Once you pass the security check, it's time to set up the Facebook application to allow for authentication. What you're seeing now is a product setup where you can click the Get Started on the right, where it says Facebook Login. If you don't see this window, you can click Add Product from the left-hand pane. We won't be needing to download the SDK because NPM will take care of, of that for us later. So you can just go back to your terminal because by this time, your React Native project should be installed successfully. Go ahead and cd into your project folder. Install the React Native dependencies for the Facebook SDK by typing npm install react-native-fbsdk. After that, you want to link this to your framework, so go ahead and type react-native link and react-native-fbsdk. Go ahead and open Android Studio and the project in your code editor of choice. I'm using Atom with the new client for React Native development. Also start the NPM server so we're ready to run the project. The gateway to your Android application is the index.android.js file. So any change in this file will be compiled to the native Java code. Start by importing the touchable opacity component from React Native and remove all the code inside the top level view component and make a button. To assign a function to the button, you need to pass the function to the onPress prop of the touchable opacity component. Now, make a function to hold the code for logging in. I'm calling mine fb off, and I prepend it with an underscore at the start of the function to signify that it's a private method. This is not necessary, but I think it improves the readability of my code. Now remember to import the Facebook SDK into your project by typing import FB SDK all in capital, comma, and the login manager, then from react-native-sdk. If you're interested in seeing all of the functions and what they do, you can download the React Native Facebook SDK and under the JS folder you can find the different functionality that you can import. We are using the login manager to do login, so if we open that file, we see that the functions we want is login with read permissions. Inside your function, you can now call login with read permissions on the login manager and supply an array of Facebook permissions that you want to access as an argument for the function. In this example, we'll just be accessing the public profile of the user, but you're able to see a full list of permissions at developers.facebook slash docs slash Facebook login slash permissions. That link will also be in the description. The login with read permissions function returns a JavaScript promise that we need to handle. 
after the function call type dot then and supply a new function as the argument. This new function is called if the premise was fulfilled. We can make a check to see if the login was cancelled prematurely by calling is cancelled on the result. And let's just log that to the console for now. Then make an else statement to execute the code that you want to run if the login is a success. You can call permissions granted on the result to return the promises that the user granted you access to by calling dot permissions granted on the result. You now want to handle what happens if the response is rejected. Make a comma after the ending bracket of the succeeding function and make a new function that represents the rejected promise. For now we'll just print out the error to the console but obviously you want to handle this in some way in your final application. If you look at the permissions granted and is cancelled, they are also mentioned in the SDK for the login manager. It's now time to configure the native Android project. So open your project folder in Android Studio and navigate to the Android folder and open the build.gradle file. This will allow Android Studio to set up the project. Go to the app folder and Java and then open my activity and my application. Now it's just a bit question about copy and pasting from the React Native Facebook SDK GitHub page. In my application, you want to copy and paste the import statements. Copy everything inside the main application class and paste it within your own. Copy and paste to override the onCreate method in your file. Copy and paste to override the getPackages method in your file. For my activity, you want to copy and paste the onActivity result method into your file, and you want to copy and paste the import statement. And that's pretty much it for copy and pasting. Now click the getting started guy right below the last code snippet and it's time for some final configuration. Choose a Facebook application that you want to connect to your React Native application. And we can skip the first seven steps and start off from the section saying add Facebook app ID. Now go to string.xml and paste in your Facebook app ID. String.xml is located under res and values. Now add the user permissions in the android manifest.xml file, which is located under the app folder, and then manifests. Copy and paste the activity into the manifest as well. Now you need to specify the package name to Facebook, and this can be found at the start of your android manifest file. Supplying the main activity, you go to the manifest and find the activity tag and copy what's inside the name property. Click next. Now you want to generate the development and release key hashes and that's done using the command line commands shown below. These depend on what system you're running, if you're running Mac OS or Windows. Now copy the one for your system and paste it in your terminal. Hit enter and type a password to generate the keys for. This can be whatever password you'd like. Copy and paste the key back into the web page. And we are now ready to test.
So go ahead and start the simulator from Android Studio. And when it's open and ready, navigate to the terminal and build the project by running react-native run-android and watch the magic unfold. In the simulator you can click the button you made and type in your Facebook email and password and you can now log in using the Facebook SDK in React Native. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do like a comment and consider subscribing for future videos. If you have any suggestions to what you would like to cover in future video tutorials, also leave a comment below and I'm sure we can figure it out for you guys.